welcome everyone to the webinar today that's entitled Health Promotion or Health in All Policies as a Health Promotion Strategy. Um, we're really glad you can join us. We're partnering with Health Promotion Canada on a series of webinars and this one is number five in the series um, and the last one in what we have planned so far. Um, one of the Health Promotion Canada volunteers will say a few words in a minute to explain a bit more about them. And we're really happy that we were able to work with them uh, in collaboration to put together the webinar today. Uh, you're hearing my voice. This is Diane Oikel. I'm a Knowledge Translation Specialist with National Collaborating Center for Determinants of Health. And in the background, whose voice you won't hear, is Jamie Speak. She is our Communications Assistant. She is working uh, from Kitchener and Waterloo area of Ontario. And if you've got any technological questions or concerns, please uh, pop her an email um, as we go through the webinar today. Uh, before we go any further, I most importantly want to acknowledge that the NCCDH is in Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. And we are very, very grateful to be here. We are um, learning more and more about the traditional Indigenous land that we were on, and we want to acknowledge not only in thanks to the Indigenous communities who have held relationship with this land for generations, but also in recognition of the historical and ongoing legacy of colonialism. And we're very grateful to be here. As most of you know, we are one of <coughs> six national collaborating centers uh, in Canada. And if you'd like to know more about the other NCCs, I suggest you go to the website at nccph.ca. And I didn't, sorry about that. And we are the National Collaborating Center for Determinants of Health. This is a little bit about us. And our website is nccdh.ca for more information. Um, as we go through, it's very important that we um, get your feedback on this webinar. I am putting up the link here for the evaluation. It will take less than two minutes to fill out. Um, I suggest you bring up that link now on your browser and then fill it out before you log off your computer for the day. Um, if you have to leave early, please, please go and uh, give us some feedback on how it went today. We really do use the feedback to help plan our future webinars. We have two speakers today. Um, we have Ketan Shankaras, uh, she's chair of the Department of Health Sciences at Wilfrid Laurier University. And we have Victoria Barr, who is with the British Columbia Health and Communities. Um, and we will do a more some introduction of each of them before their presentations, um, but right now I just wanted to highlight that they're here and thank them for their contribution today. And with that, I am going to turn it over to um, our friends from Health Promotion Canada, Irving Rootman and Leslie Dyke, um, to say a few words about that organization. So over to you. Great. Thanks, Diane. Um, so just quickly, I want to just make a little plug uh, for everyone who's on the webinar today uh, to c go over to the Health Promotion Canada uh, website to see what we're all about. We are a group um, of volunteers uh, passionate about health promotion in Canada. You'll see three of us there on the slides. We're the three that are most involved in the French and English webinar partnership that we've been working with NCCDH on. Uh, Health Promotion Canada is uh, a not-for-profit, as I said, volunteer-based, and we're trying to bring together people, uh, practitioners, researchers, students from across Canada. If you go to our website, you will see um, information about our structure, the executive committees, the working groups. Uh, and some information on each of the individual provincial uh, chapters networks, depending on how each region is set up. Um, we would encourage you to come over and check it out and then get involved. There's lots and lots of volunteer opportunities to help out. Um, if you become a member of Health Promotion Canada, that is if you purchase a membership, not only do you have access to the website, but you also have access to um, resources associated with the competencies, uh, specifically the toolkit, and you also have access to the complete membership list. So I'd really encourage you to uh, take out a membership and support Health Promotion Canada to do the advocacy work in Canada that we are 
focused on. So as I said, there's uh, the health promotion competencies are available over on the website to everyone. And we are involved in a lot of different things, but the one I'd want to emphasize today, since the, uh, the awards program deadline is approaching, uh, we are asking for people to nominate uh, their colleagues, uh, projects, programs, organizations. There's many different categories that you can nominate people in uh, to really help communicate the exemplary health promotion work that's being done across Canada. These awards will be announced uh, at our annual general meeting uh, in December. So please head over to the website and check that out. Uh, we'd love to get some more nominations. So with that, I'm just going to pass this over to Irv, assuming his uh, phone line is working, and he's going to talk a little bit about uh, the background for these webinars, and then we're going to turn it over to our presenters. Okay, I'm not hearing Irv. <laughs> you need to unmute Irv. He was having technical difficulties earlier. so. Uh, in the interest of time, I'm just going to keep moving ahead um, and just do a little bit of a summary, and then uh, Irv can tell me later whether I've done an okay job. <laughs> so uh, many of you know uh, Dr. Irving Rootman. He's been active as uh, in, in academia in health promotion in Canada for many, many years, and he is um, the kind of the, the champion behind health promotion in Canada, the resource that's used by many uh, universities in Canada uh, to support their health promotion curriculum. The latest edition just came out, and we've been using this edition to uh, organize these webinars, picked a few of the chapters. And so uh, a great thank you to the writers of the chapters, one of whom is here today, um, to share what was put into the resource. And then also, of course, these webinars, we've been looking for practice uh, practitioners, uh, examples from across Canada to illustrate the topics. And today, as you saw, we have Victoria Barr. Um, a special thank you to um, the publishers of uh, Health Promotion in Canada uh, in that they are providing all of our practitioner volunteers who are um, providing uh, that part of the webinar uh, in our webinar series uh, with free copies of the health promotion in Canada. So we greatly appreciate that. So we have covered these chapters. Um, and we're now on chapter 18, Health and All Policies, and we're hoping that we can continue this webinar series. So any feedback you have on particular chapters of interest, please don't hesitate to be in touch with us. So some future ones that we're looking at, obviously health uh, equity issues, uh, immigrant issues, and digital media. Those are some that people have suggested they're interested in. And as I said, a great thank you to Canadian Scholars Press for um, providing copies of this resource uh, to our practitioner pre presenters. Okay, so I think that's enough. Sorry, Irv, if I didn't quite do justice to that. Uh, but I'm going to pass it over to uh, Katan to provide um, uh, launch us into the content for the webinar today. That's great. Thanks, thanks, Leslie. I really appreciate you uh, jumping in like that. Um, and with that, I will introduce uh, Ketan Shankaras. He's an associate professor in the Departments of Health Sciences and Psychology. He also works with the Laurier Center for Community Research, Learning, and Action, as well as Laurier Institute for Study of Public Opinion and Policy, and the Interdisciplinary Research Institute for Mathematical and Statistical Modeling. He received his M Master's of Health Science in Community Health and Epidemiology, and that was from U of Toronto in 2001. His PhD is in Epidemiology from the University of Southern California in 2008. And before joining Laurier, he was a postdoc fellow at the Center for Research on Inner City Health at St. Mike's Hospital. We, we know that by the acronym of CRICH. He's published a number of papers on health and all policies, and he's well known uh, nationally and internationally for that work. Um, as well as uh, the broader term of intersectoral action. He's currently working on a study with our National Collaborating Center for Health and Public Policy, which is our center based out of Montreal. And that's to identify examples of local government using a health and all policies approach. And so with that, um, I would also then invite any participants on the line 
who are actively working using a health and all policies approach or a specific interest at coral approach to please indicate in that in the, the chat box and maybe we can get some conversation going during the webinar about that um, and uh, we, maybe we can be in touch at a later time. So Kitan, over to you. 